good morning to you all ladies and gentlemen please pardon me if i am late to give you this information because it happened yesterday on a, on an ose uh, waiting at the pass through sometimes i will not have the strength to give uh, the information but i got the information earlier on yesterday when the thing was happening but my mood was not that uh, sharp for me to go uh, go on live to give my people the news that they desire well it happened yesterday in a uh, osumogu uh um an old emo state uh -huh. according to the reporter simon ekpanjoko the prime minister of the Biafran republic government in exile he said and i quote breaking news hear it and hear it with a clear mind and for you to know that uh, we have to make this thing clear to the world to the other the rest of the zoos and also to the african in general that the Biafrans are not fighting against anybody and we are not decimating anybody. They bring the real world to our doorsteps. And what Biafrans are doing is to defend their territory, to defend our age mothers, to defend what we're supposed to defend in our own land. Because we never go from the southeast to the center, which is a FCT, or to other parts of the country to go and fight them. But no, they brought that fight to our doorstep well, what do we need to do we need to also defend our territory and also we can do everything i mean we can use everything in us to make sure that we defend our land against the intruders the likes of at police ng the likes of at as a terrorist or at headquarters nigerian army the likes of likes of at uh, nscdc ng the likes of uh, dss ng i mean all of them is a combined team force that came to our land due to the military have been collecting water water alone so now they have to pick their best i mean best among the best to just just to make sure that they destabilize the southeast but uh trust me the biafran liberation army is always gallant they are always ever ready to defend the Biafran territory, and that's exactly what happened that yesterday. So, make gonna hear the news the way it be. Please do me a favor, you need to share this message because the world needs to know what is happening. We are not the one that is killing them, but they will make it to look like the Biafrans are the one killing the police personnel or the militaries. No, do not get us wrong. Self defense is never a crime, even under both locally and international law. You are coming to kill me and I defended myself and my land and my family. It is never a crime. That's exactly what Biafrans are doing. They are bringing the war to our doorsteps. They are bringing the fight to our doorsteps. And we are uh, 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 reproaching them. I mean, sending them back. Uh, I think many of them kiss the dust. About 23 of them. Make, that is, the Biafran liberation army makes sure that they kissed the dust and never to wake up again. I'm going to hear the news the way it is. Let this video go viral. If you fail, if you fail to share the video, and you are claiming to be a Biafran, you are an enemy to the Biafran. The world need to know. The Africans need to know. The entire universe need to know. Even if possible, let space and mass bear us witness. Let order, uh, what do you call it? Let order um, uh, planet bear us uh, witness what is happening in Biafran territory. And I'm very, very happy that the way they go, they never return back the same. They went there, about 35 or 40 of them or 50 of them, but only but few returned back with, with some severe, I mean, some, some degrees of injuries. So that is what you get. When you take war into some bus, somebody's uh, home, yes, look at me very well. No matter what you carry, any kind of war, uh, weapon you carry come to my home to fight me. I can do everything. Even my magwa, my minoku, my acid, my gas, gasoline, corn and erumaka. That is exact. That is exactly what happened in Biafra land. That is exactly what keep happening. We are defending our land. So let the world hear our voice. And I can never be shy away from this truth to tell the world what is happening. We are not fighting the Nigerian government. They are the one coming to intimidate us in our own region and us even to in our own doorsteps. Breaking news: Over twenty-three terrorists. Nigeria at Nigeria NG, which is Nigerian police, was decimated yesterday in the ongoing Biafra war in Old Imo State. Yesterday, battle was against the combined terrorists at Headquarter Nigerian Army, at uh, DS, NSD, CDC, at DSS, at military, military police. All of these people ganged up yesterday hmm. and their accomplices. Though 
the so their so called FM radio and former Imo State is reporting 17. But that is not the truth. The real truth is that they are over 23 who were decimated during the battle that lasted for the whole day in old Imo State. Can you imagine that? A battle that lasted for the whole day. Nigerian government and their security personnel coming to the Biafra land, to their doorstep, even when we said we don't need them again. Allow us. If we want to perish, let us perish in our land. But stop using their military personnel, police and the other security personnel to, to, to molest and massacre us in numbers. That is what the Biafrans will not take, according to the information before me here. If you get this message, you know what to do. Please, do me a favor. Make sure that this message goes viral. You need to like it, share it, comment on it, and make sure that this channel is subscribed so that you'll be getting this kind of bad balls the way it is. And at your doorsteps, at the right time, and at every given time. We are going to take the reactions. After that, they will have a news concerning our, uh, our only sister who is making the dear friends proud. By name, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. That is the WTO uh, uh, chairman, Abi president, World Trade Organization. So let us take the reactions quickly before we can be able to round up uh, from uh, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. He has sent a, a stand warning to the zoo using his name, or sorry, using her name uh, for political gains. She said, enough is enough. Let us take the actions. Simon Ekpa said, I don't see the welling Afon Jassy, who always uh, at the post of Simon Epa or Prime Minister post again. Where are they? Maybe they are now in the process of evolution. Now waiting, Simon Epa, Damian Isidon said. And we have a Mazi Oketuku Golan or Chukuji or Chukujeku. I salute you and our men doing the amazing work of safeguarding our land. And the Biafra, <laughs> her people, yes, so they are doing everything humanly possible to make sure that they safeguard our land from intruders who have vowed never to allow us to have peace in our own region. They are busy pursuing us, and the foreigners are busy taking over their lands. That is the wars of Mazen Namdekano, and it is coming to pass. I mean, it has come to pass, not it's coming to pass, it has come to pass long before now. Um, Bold said, any videos... Continue asking for video when they are lose guarding you. Ndara. Sammy, come talking. Oh no, Sammy is a pen production specialist and painter. He said, We need peace and stability in the eastern Nigeria. Stop doing what will affect the common masses in the southeast. Also, let me remind you that most of these security personnel that are being killed are our brothers. How can we be killing our fellow Igbos, turning their wives to young widows? My dear, I need to correct this impression. Uh, I need to correct this impression. According to the an Igbo adage, which says that if a snake comes to your house and uh, MBC, uh, and somebody from MBC comes to your house, you face or fall, decimate that on MBC before the snake. That is the issue at hand here. Those people you are calling our brothers are the one being allowed themselves to be used by the zoo to buy their own people. So. You are telling us we shall allow them to buy our able, able bodied young youths of Biafra who will defend the land when the need arises. Instead of them, my dear, you got it wrong, eh? You got it wrong. Whatever they got is what they deserve because they have chosen to serve under the zoo to terminate their own people, to decimate their own people. But along the line, they got decimated. That is the case of a hunter being hunted. <laughs> Suji Khan said the men of the African Liberation Army are not smiling. Kudos to the men on ground. And we have somebody who said, Epa Echelon Dragon said, Our freedom is in our hand. Our identity is Biafra. Biafra is our home. Biafra is our religion. God bless the United States of Biafra. God bless our Prime Minister, Marty Simon Epa, Njoko, Dragon himself. We love you. Now, so this is our brother talk. And according to Simon Epa, Don Biafra said, Gentle is really a great commander. Yes, of course, we, we love him because Gentle is really commanding well at the, at, at the front of uh, duty, I mean, the line of duty. 
I'm Toti Villa said all praise and thanks to Chuko Kiabiyama for his wonderful victory. Our enemies, or oh, sorry, over the enemies of Biafra land. And I'm going to say more winning to Biafra Defense Force, more winning to Biafra Liberation Army, and more winning to Biafra Resistance Fighters. All hell Biafra. A bond, whatever it is. <laughs> Amuche, she said, may Chukokia Biama continue to guide and protect you guys from the hands of the enemies. We are winning the fight against the oppressors. Abdul Salam Rashid Adeni said, Good job, our Prime Minister. More strength, more grace, and more grace to your able. Win win, he said, with the to pro mercy and the end of the zoological republic. We love you, sir. You are doing a great job. And we have somebody who says his name is Mazi Okechuku. According to him, he said, Breaking news happening now in Ogun State. Yoruba land. Okay, Ogun State, Yoruba land. Man caught with human scores at patrol, at hashtag, whatever, whatever it is. Anyway, this one now is on studio. Now you can come give us here. And uh, as we are moving forward, we are also not going to forget to, to mention this, our brother. Uh, according to what he said, he said, Woto Woto is our language. And they will not understand it. It's Simon Ekba, bro. Um, kudos to our great uh, gallant men on ground. Uh, Ebon to our Biafran Liberation Army and Biafran Re Resistance Fighters. This one is coming from KC. More power. This one is coming from Ife, Ife, Ife Dima David. And according to Peter Peace, he said, Either they live in peace or in pieces. Biafra land must bend them all. And Biafra land is not smiling. It must swallow all the enemies of Biafrans. God's will, you have said, in my humble opinion, on Nigeria should face reality instead of fighting a just cause because these water waters show the narratives has absolutely changed and will never be as aforementioned. Anyway, the reactions is like now here. We will take Livamo. Let us take the story of our sister uh, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala. Once again, people using her name for political battles or political games. Director General of the World Trade Organization, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala, has issued a stand warning about the misuse of her name in political conflicts. Okonjo Iwala expressed concerns over a scheme of exploit, uh, a scheme to exploit, exploit her name for political purposes and all those involved to stop immediately. Her response came after a Facebook post falsely attributed a statement to her, claiming Nigeria's debt. Uh, has sought to 24 trillion naira within 22 months, an unprecedented increase, even after the removal of the first subsidies and her offer to help has been refused. The fabricated post quoted Okonjo Iwala as saying, Nigeria's debt for the first time in the history has risen to 24 trillion in just two months, even after removing the first subsidy. This is the something unbelievable. I have called several times to offer help and advice. But the current administration and cabals refuse to let me in. How can you remove the first subsidy with a debt of 24 trillion naira in two months? According to her, refuting this claim, the former Nigerian Minister of Finance took to us to clarify. This is important. It appears that there are people in Nigeria trying to use my name and image on social media to fight battles on different sides of the political divide, putting words in my mouth that I never said. Therefore, I want to alert everyone that the message below is fake. This is the stand warning to all those trying to misuse my name for their political ends, that I will continue to rebook any attempt to use my name and image falsely. This one is coming from our sister, making the so-called zoo proud at the international level. Ngozi Okonjo Iwala speaking. So you people have to adhere to this warning, otherwise you will find yourself to be blamed because she, is do every, she will do everything to make sure that the International Criminal Court settles the case between you and her. So my wonderful people, now hear me go take back break. When I hear my voice, when I come back again, please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. My name is Sidi Man, Amande Anna Eze, reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Kemesiano. My people.